Well, welcome to the 700 Club. A Texas grand jury investigating Planned Parenthood has delivered a surprising decision. It indicted two of the people behind those undercover videos last year. Heather Sells has the story on this unexpected turn of events. The horrific undercover footage shows the video makers posing as prospective buyers of fetal tissue. They are talking with top-level Planned Parenthood executives about buying aborted body parts. The videos allege that Planned Parenthood sold them for profit, a violation of federal law. Released this past summer, the footage sparked outrage among many people across the country. It was amazing that they were able to capture the very gruesomeness of these procedures. A Houston grand jury, however, now says that Planned Parenthood did not violate the law, but that the makers of the video did. It has charged two of them with tampering with a government record, which is a felony, and has not released any other details. One of those charged, David DeLayden, responded to the indictments by saying that he used the same undercover techniques as investigative journalists and that he followed the law. DeLayden is the founder of the Center for Medical Progress, which made the videos. The governor of Texas says the indictments will not affect the state's investigation of the videos. Other states are investigating Planned Parenthood as well. And Southern Baptist leader Russell Moore is calling the indictments complete corruption. He notes that one of the prosecutors in the Harris County District Attorney's Office has been a Planned Parenthood board member since 2013. Heather Sells, CBN News. Well, I have to say, we didn't see this one coming, and, and talk about a complete reversal. Uh, you don't indict unless the prosecutors in front of the grand jury are asking for the indictments, and so uh, that's, that's what's going on here, and, and why, I don't know. We will find out in the trial, and in that trial, hopefully, we can find out were these videos altered like the allegations that Planned Parenthood is making? Were they substantially altered? Or are they real videos of what Planned Parenthood employees were saying? Well, in other news, ISIS could be using fake passports to get into America and launch deadly terrorist attacks. John Jessup has that story from our CBN News Bureau in Washington. John? That's right, Gordon. ISIS has created its own fake passport industry. That warning came from the French interior minister Monday. And ABC News is reporting U.S. Homeland Security also is warning that ISIS may have already used fake passports here in the United States to enter the United States, rather. Officials believe ISIS can produce them using blank passports and a passport machine captured in Syria. Two of the Paris terrorists use false passports to enter Europe through Greece. Well, less than a week before the Iowa caucuses, Donald Trump and Ted Cruz hope to overtake the other by winning the coveted evangelical vote. CBN News gained exclusive access inside two private meetings between Senator Cruz and key Iowa pastors. And if Donald wins Iowa, he right now has a substantial lead in New Hampshire. If he went on to win New Hampshire as well, there's a very good chance he could be unstoppable and be our nominee. There is only one campaign that can beat Trump in this state. And if conservatives simply stand up and unite, yes. that's, that's everything. Afterward, Cruz sat down with CBN News and seemed to take a shot at Trump's ego. This election is not about any one person. Any one individual who believes he or she will make America great. You know what? For seven years, we've had a president in the White House who has had a messiah complex. You can watch more of the interview and see that exclusive footage from inside the pastor's meeting on the Brody file at CBNNews.com. World leaders need to take the threat of killer robots seriously. That was the warning delivered by a group of experts to the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland last week. The military could use killer robots to track down and kill people without being guided by human beings. Those robots don't exist yet, but the technology to build them is being developed in countries around the world. Some could be human or animal sized or extremely tiny, the size of an insect capable of moving exceedingly fast. The experts warn they could be as deadly as nuclear weapons and need to be regulated now before an arms race begins and of Gordon, of course, to keep them out of the hands of terrorists. Uh, I'm more interested in keeping them out of the hands of governments. Uh, we already have killer drones roaming the sky that can rain down death at the uh, push of a button. But imagine uh, an autonomous robot being on the loose. 
Um, you know, this is the stuff of science fiction. We've seen these kinds of things in movies, uh, and it, it never turns out right. Why, why in the world would we try to invent them? Uh, let's regulate governments and say governments shouldn't be doing this. Uh, this, this, is, this is not, should not be part of any future warfare. We'll be back with more of the 700 Club right after this. claims to be their savior. Crucify him. The body has vanished. Where has he gone? You tell me. Home the city for bodies dead in the last week. Where are they hiding his corpse? Check every house, every room. What frightens you? Big run. Wagering eternity on it. Risen with a PG-13. It can be hard to run a small business, but Mike and Leslie have figured it out. They've weathered the recessions in the past, and here's what they've done to get ready for the future. In 1994, Mike Nordlam and his wife Leslie purchased an electronic repair shop, Cascade Electronics, in Portland, Oregon. I was in electronics, and so the owner wanted to sell the business. Kind of felt like this is something we really need to do. This could be great financially for our family. However, in 2001, Mike and Leslie saw a downturn in business. We realized that um, business slowed down a lot and people were holding their money back and we did see a time where it got pretty bad. We laid off with some of the employees so I started doing most of the work myself um, and it is, it is challenging because there's some times where we realized that um, maybe we didn't pay ourselves uh, that month. With their company in the red, Leslie began to pray about their giving. The couple had always tithed 10% of their personal income, but Leslie also wanted to tithe off of their business. Mike was reluctant. We had gotten on track with our personal stuff, but trying to get on track with business was difficult. So I was like, Lord, if you want this to work, you're gonna to need to speak to my husband. She said, there's, a, uh, there's so much more for us. And so I said, well, let's, let's give it a shot. I released her and said, all right, wherever you think is important, Mike and Leslie decided to give 10% of their business income to other ministries. In December of 2010, they became 700 Club partners. When we started giving the 700 Club, I saw a significant change. And I'm like, I don't know how it happens, but there's always enough. God always makes sure it's paid, there's always enough. And we even have savings. We've never had a savings in all the years that we actually had the business. There's a lot of businesses that in the Portland area that we know of that have gone out of business. And we're still in business, and we hear that all the time. How are you in business? And it's like, we have the favor of the Lord. Had we held onto our money and not tithed, who knows where we would be. Since starting to give from their business, their income has increased so much that they now give five times their starting amount to CBN. And I will tell you that if you limit God, you'll be limited. If you trust God, the sky's the limit. Stand in faith on it, pray about it, give, and start watching what God does. Start watching what God does. Here's the promise, it's from Matthew 25. To those who use well what they are given, even more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who do nothing, even what little they have will be taken away. And Leslie and Mike learned all of that. They put it into practice, and you see what happened. If you do the same thing, the same thing will happen to you. Well, as the pastor of a small church, Tony Moore made just $200 a week. So he took a second job to help pay the bills. 20 years later, Tony still has that side job, and he's turned it into a multi-million dollar business. For more than 20 years, watermelons have been the source of success for Tony and Kathy Moore. They run a successful wholesale business together, but early on in their relationship, they wondered if they'd ever be able to get ahead. Tony didn't make much pastoring a small church with about 35 members. For a while, my first set salary was $200 a week. Then with minimal medical insurance, they faced big bills after they had their first baby. We came very close to getting public assistance, but I just didn't feel personally that I was supposed to do that. Instead, they tithed from their meager income and relied on God. We just did the best we could. Um, I've always tried to be a frugal shopper and thrifty and use coupons and just stretch the budget. 
I can't explain to you how the bills would be here maybe and the income here, but at the end of the month, it seemed that they would meet every single time. Pastors of small churches often have second jobs. Tony was no exception. Back in the early 90s, my stepfather was a farmer, he had three or four hundred acres of melons he grew. and. So I took an old Toyota pickup truck that I had and a trailer and would pick up 100 to 200 watermelons at the time and I started peddling them out. Tony did so much business out of the back of a pickup that other farmers took notice and asked him to start selling their melons too. As their business grew, they made sure their tithe kept up with their increasing income. Food Line was our first corporate client. It wasn't that I got the call from them, they got the call from me and then I kept pushing on it. When we pray for God to bless us and to provide for us, God oftentimes blesses us with the ability to do those things that need to be done. Soon he was shipping out melons by the thousands. And I remember that first year I sold 10 tractor trailer loads and I thought I'd really done something. And now during the busy time of our year here, we can do 20 to 25 tractor trailer loads in a day. And I remember one year sitting down working on my taxes and my giving that year exceeded my adjusted gross income just a few years before. My thought was, I wonder how much I can top that by next year. On top of their tithe, the Moors give to a number of ministries, including CBN. CBN has really meant a lot to us over the years as we've watched the program and seen how God has blessed people through the program itself as well as Operation Blessing, plus CBN News because I get to hear news from a Christian perspective. Today, Tony pastors a considerably larger church, while Moore's Produce brokers hundreds of truckloads of watermelons every summer. Their kids help out with the business, and together they enjoy the side benefits as a family. They credit their success to giving. We've always been tithers. We teach our children to tithe, and we found that you just can't outgive God. You know, it's all about Him, and when we honor Him, He indeed honors us. Tony and Kathy have it right. When we honor Him, He indeed honors this. Here's a verse for you. It's from 2 Corinthians. Remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop, but the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. For God loves the person who gives cheerfully, and God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. I've got some good news. Some CBN partners, just like Tony and Kathy, say we love giving so much, they want to challenge others to give. So for till the end of the hour, they will match your giving dollar for dollar, $100,000. Let's pray. Lord, we ask for a blessing for this. And we ask for a blessing for the partners from Ohio who made it possible to issue this challenge. Bless them exceedingly abundantly. Be with them. Guard and protect them, Lord God. And for those watching, let your peace be on them, be all around them, be in them. For we ask it in Jesus' name, amen. $100,000 is the challenge amount, 44 minutes and 24 seconds is the clock. What are we asking you to do? We're asking you to join the 700 Club. How much is that? It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Some of you can join at a higher level. We have 700 Club Gold for you at $40 a month. There's also a 1,000 Club which is $1,000 a year, and that breaks out to $84 a month at whatever level. Call us now, 1-800-759-0700. Terry? Well, when you become a CBN partner, our way of saying thank you is by sending you this DVD. It's Pat Robertson's latest teaching on heaven, and it features real people who have had real encounters with the afterlife. Take a look. I said, Father, I pray that you forgive me for my sins. You said you have many mansions in heaven, and I pray there's one for me. They didn't think I'd make it through the night. They thought I'd die of shock. I could feel just life leaking out of me. Code blue, we need the crash card in here. And I was very aware of the fact that I had just died. I wasn't afraid. It was like, I'm going home. Heaven, see real life stories of people who've been there in this new teaching from Pat Robertson, available now. 
what does happen to us after we die? And what does the Bible have to say about it? Well, it's all in here. Pat's latest teaching, Heaven, What God Has Prepared for Those Who Love Him. We want you to have this. It's our gift to you when you join the 700 Club. So call right now. We have this $100,000 challenge that's just been launched. And that means when you give, Every dollar you give will be matched dollar for dollar. So let us hear from you right now. 1-800-759-0700. Gordon? When Cynthia lost her job, she was out of work for seven months. In all that time, she never missed a car payment or a mortgage payment. And here's how she did it. I wasn't in control of my money. My money was in control of me. Because I would see something, I'd go get it. And I worked hard for it. And those voices tell you that you deserve it. That's the mindset Cynthia Horton adopted as a young career woman. I would change cars every two years because that's what I thought we were supposed to do. Uh, just went on spending sprees because I had money to do so. Eventually, most of her money went to paying bills and creditors. I mean, I remember I'd have to spend a lot of time writing everything down, every, every penny that I was going to spend. Uh, if anything came in $2 over, I was, I was going to be in a bind. She started watching the 700 Club. I started hearing these principles that were very foreign to me about, you know, give and it shall be given unto you. Cynthia decided to become a CBN partner. I remember writing that first check. It was, you know, angels. I thought angels were going to be singing in it because it was such a huge, it was a huge step for me. Cynthia still didn't have a handle on spending, though, and her debt grew to $30,000. As long as you can pay that monthly payment, life is good. And uh, it wasn't good, because that wasn't the way to live. Then she lost her job. Cynthia says she had to depend solely on God, which wasn't always easy. It was very stressful for me, especially one time in particular, I remember pacing back and forth. And I said, you know, God, I need your help. My mortgage payment is drafting the next day. I had $1.87 in the bank. That day, she received a pre-approved loan offer for $6,000 at a whopping 27% interest. Cynthia admits she was tempted. And I'm thinking, this is a quick answer to my problem. God said it might be a quick answer, but it's not your answer. In a permanent marker, I wrote void on that check. And I can't tell you to this day how that mortgage payment drafted the next day. And even though money was tight, she believes God told her to keep giving. His specific instruction was to continue giving the same amount as when I had a job. During seven months of unemployment, I never missed a house payment, I never missed a car payment. God was faithful. Cynthia landed a job and says God started showing her ways to pay off her debt. One of them was to give more. He asked me to, to double my giving to CBN. I said, double my gift? I mean, 20 was a stretch, now 40 was, wow. Cynthia increased her giving. In time, she paid off all of her debt and is still debt free. She's also a member of CBN's Chairman's Circle. Cynthia says she has an understanding of giving and faith she never had before. My philosophy of giving was, you know, God, God gets 10%, 90% is mine. My philosophy now is that it's all His. I cannot go wrong having everything I own in His hands. He gave it to me anyway. And that's one of the principles that I learned is that when I give it to God, He's gonna do so much more with it than I could ever imagine. And then He, he blesses me back along the way. Here's the principle, it's from Proverbs. Give freely and become more wealthy. Be stingy and lose everything. The generous will prosper. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. And here's Cynthia, she's writing that first check and she's expecting angels to start to sing. But what was going on is she says, I'm going to follow that principle. I'm going to give and see what God will do. The same thing that happened to her can happen to you if you just follow the same principle. Over and over again in the Bible, you see God saying, give, be generous, uh, tithe, give offerings. When you do that, that's when wonderful blessings start to flow into your life. If you want to start that, give us a call, 1-800-759-0700. Just say, yes, I want to be a member of the 700 Club just $20 a month, 65 cents a day, and you join with tens of thousands of people that want to make a difference in the world, want to see people helped around the world. If that's you, join with us now, 1-800-759-0700. Well, Joe and Rebecca were living paycheck to paycheck and fighting all the time. Then they made an investment they couldn't afford. At least that's what they thought. 
but what happened next saved their marriage and changed their lives. As a young couple, Joe and Rebecca Shear had always made going to church a priority. Tithing, on the other hand, was another matter. I just thought that once the plates are passed, you give whatever's in your pocket, basically. You know, like, you don't even have to give that. Like, you give whatever you want to give. They felt they should try to give more, but they never did. I felt like I was living so paycheck to paycheck and, and couldn't go and give 10%. We had some no interest uh, um, payments on like furniture bills and stuff like that. So all in all, we were, we were easily a uh, couple hundred thousand in debt. They hadn't learned to trust God with their finances. We were still thinking that it was our money. And so that was the biggest thing. The couple fought often, not knowing how to get out of their financial hole. I would say, well, this is going on this month. So I have to have enough money for this and this and this and this. And he'd say, well, we just don't have it. And that's when we would argue. And we'd really fight about that. In 2005, they started going to a different church. The message was really about being all in for, for him. All in, not, not just in tithing, but in prayer and the way you raise your family and um, how you know, you're a man of God and, and how you need to represent him. And so that all basically got me to where I was just like, we have to do this. Now we invited him in our finances because we were trusting him with them. They say once they started tithing, they saw God at work in their finances, starting with Joe's job at a trucking company. It was within 30 days after we started doing the 10%, I got a phone call from our owner and, and said, hey, we're, we're wanting you to be the director of sales in our Southern Cal branch. It was six months later, I had another promotion um, to be the vice president of sales for that particular region. So we had more money to, to pay bills and um, we ended up uh, really focusing on our debt. Over the years, they kept giving and chipping away at their debt. Today, Joe and Rebecca are nearly debt free. I truly feel like we're blessed. Our finances are, are in order. We feel confident and comfortable that you know, God continues to provide for us and we're able to, to continue to do the things and bless people uh, when we can. He does tell you to test him in that specific thing, you know, finances, because I think he desires to show his faithfulness to you. He desires to show his faithfulness. Here's the promise from Malachi, bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and prove me now in this, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. Joe and Rebecca lived by that principle and you saw the result. If you live by the, the same principle, you'll see the same result. If you want to start doing that, call us now, 1-800-759-0700. We're in a $100,000 challenge. If you get the red number up, we've got 74,000, 73,000 is going down. 34 minutes, 49 seconds to go. That red number represents the amount that will be matched, doubled for du doubled. Uh, your, when you give now, it will be doubled. It will be matched dollar for dollar up to that $73,000. So call us now, 34 minutes, 33 seconds, 1-800-759-0700. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, here's a question for you. Do you know where you're going to go when you die? If you're unsure or you want to know what to expect when life ends, then get Pat Robertson's latest DVD called Heaven. Take a look. Join the 700 Club and get your copy of Heaven, the newest teaching by Pat Robertson. You're going to see some amazing stories of people who have died and gone to heaven. I was free. I wasn't afraid. I could feel peace from head to my toe. I'll also be talking with a renowned cardiac surgeon. How many of your patients died and came back to life again? Dozens have in fact died and have experienced heaven. Call 1-800-759-0700 to get your copy of Heaven, what God has prepared for those who love Him. And then I'll be sharing the Bible answers to some of the most important questions people have about eternity. Pat, our 
Are we eternal beings? Do we live when this life is over? That's what the Bible says. There's no question that we are not extinguished at death, but our spirits will live on forever. Get your copy of Pat Robertson's newest teaching, Heaven, available now. And what I love about this new teaching is that Pat answers some of the most asked questions about heaven. For example, will Christians be judged for their sins? Can I lose my place in heaven? Will I know my family and my loved ones when I get there? And most importantly, how can I be sure I'll spend eternity in heaven? These are just a few of the questions that Pat answers on this dynamic new teaching called Heaven. Do you know where you'll spend eternity? really the most important question you'll ever ask yourself or your loved ones. We want to encourage your faith today with this new teaching. It's yours when you call right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. How much is that? I'm so glad you asked. It's just 65 cents a day. That's right, just 65 cents a day, $20 a month makes you a CBM partner. If you're already a CBM partner at that level, I just want to say thank you. You're making a huge difference around the world. But you know, maybe we can do more. A lot of us can. Let's go up to our gold level. If you do that, we're going to bless you back with three DVDs. By the way, our gold level is just $40 a month. We're going to give you one uh, heaven for you and two for to give away. If you can go up a little higher, we have our Thousand Club level, which is $84 a month or higher when you get, do that. We are going to bless you back with five of our brand new teaching. We're in the middle of a $100,000 challenge, which means every dollar that you pledge right now will be matched dollar for dollar. So this is a great time to go to your phones. Terry. CBN partners are bringing joy to people all around the world without ever leaving their living rooms. In China, they helped a hard-working young mom who couldn't afford surgery for her son. Mrs. Zhao felt a connection with her baby the instant she felt movement in her womb. I patted my belly and I immediately guessed it was going to be a boy. She was right. She had a boy and named him Igao. But she never guessed her fourth child would be born with a cleft lip and still struggling two years later. He could not eat much, so he was weaker than most children his age. Mrs. Zhao already worked long hours to provide for her family, but she started working even more to save up for surgery for her son. She knew without it, Igao would soon be mute. Neighbors had already started making fun of him. Kids mocked him and said, Look at his mouth, it's so ugly. He hurt me so much. It made me really upset. So I tried to protect my brother and make people stop laughing at him. I love him so much. Meanwhile, Igao's cleft lip got bigger and worse. He never actually closed his mouth. So he cut many colds and had high fevers. When CBN heard about Igao, we contacted Mrs. Zhao right away and told her we would cover the cost for Igao's cleft lip surgery. Everyone was amazed at the transformation. Igao likes to smile now and look in the mirror. He feels good about himself, and when people ask him if his lip is cracked anymore, he said, not anymore. My mouth is fixed. I'm deeply moved by your love. Your help has changed our lives. Thank you, CBN, for fixing my brother's mouth. I've never been happier than now. These surgeries make such a difference in the lives of the children that are blessed to receive them because of your generosity. Without that, they would not be able to eat well, would be malnourished, would never speak correctly, are shunned by their communities. Education is not an option for them. You literally gave this boy hope and a future, and we say thank you if you're a 700 Club member. If you're not a 700 Club member, what a great time to join. We're in the middle of a challenge, so when you join now, your gift goes twice as far. It's literally matched dollar for dollar. Let me show you the different club levels that you have an option to participate in. If you'd like to be a general 700 Club member, that's what Wendy was talking about a minute ago. It's 65 cents a day, and that works out to $20 a month. If you're already a 700 Club member, why don't you go up to the 700 Club Gold level? That's $40 a month. Or you could move up to the 1,000 Club level at $84 a month, or become a 2,500 Club member at $209 a month. Our founders join us at $417 a month, and then we have something we call the Chairman's Circle. These are friends who give gifts of $10,000 or more a year. 
Ask God what he'd have you to do and then do it with anticipation for what he's going to do to bless others and how he's going to bless you for your generosity in return. Call now. Our number's toll free. It's so easy. 1-800-759-0700. Just say, I want to join the 700 Club. Gordon? As a sailor in the Navy, Matt has to leave his wife and children for long periods of time. So we're doing everything we can to give them more time together and to make their time apart a little easier. Matt and his wife, Bree, don't take family time for granted. They cherish every minute together with their children, Connor and Harper, because Matt's Navy deployment rotation is at an all-time high. Matt knows he couldn't do his job without Bree's support. Without her, it's impossible. She is the foundation of it all. <laughs> it's very sweet. Jesus and his disciples. The couple faces its biggest challenge yet. They learned Matt will leave again for a year. Bree is standing on her faith in God to help her cope. I just got my husband back from a six month appointment. And two months later, they tell me that they're taking him for a year. I mean, I couldn't survive if I didn't have a relationship with God. Just knowing that he's in control and that he has a plan and that he's gonna be there to get me through it. Mommy, you can give me puzzles and I'll put them together. The couple decided it was best for Bree and the kids to move back home to Texas to be near family. But the Navy doesn't pay for a voluntary move, so they would have to go into debt to do it. To them, it was worth it. It was very important to both of us that she was with family and close to people that she could rely on and, you know, and that ultimately be there for her and for our kids. Matt would be eligible to come home once on leave, but they'd have to pay for his travel expenses, money they don't have. Matt and Bree's church staff heard about their situation and asked CBN's Helping the Homefront to assist. Pastor Wynn Levis stopped by with the news. We're going to be able to help you with some of the things that are coming up as you move down to Texas. I know that's going to be quite expensive, right. and I want to let you know that CBN is going to pay for all of that. That's, that's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> and Pastor Wynn told them CBN would pay for travel when it came time for Matt's leave. CBN would like to pay for Matt to come home, pay for the round trip, his return from Bahrain. <laughs> That's awesome. It's that's a huge blessing. That is a, that's amazing. Very thankful. Very thankful. Seven months after the move to Texas, our CBN cameras were there when Matt came home on leave. Hey. Hey, baby. This family had three weeks together thanks to CBN. Thank you very much for helping my family and blessing us and showing us that God is with us. Thank you. If you're a member of the 700 Club, you're part of that blessing. If you're not a member, join with us. Join in everything we're doing, not just here at home, but around the world. A portion of every gift goes into the work of Operation Blessing to help people, uh, to bring relief to people, uh, both here in America and around the world. If you want to be a part of that, give us a call and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. When you call, ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving where the bank does all the work. There's no checks to write, nothing to mail in, and we can send as our gift to you. Power for Life, monthly teaching CDs. If you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call. Let's go over to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Can you imagine a place where death has been conquered once and for all? Here's the great news. This place is real, and these people have seen it. It's a place where everyone wants to go. It was as if I was looking at a million shimmering diamonds. I was planning on staying. A place filled with happiness and free of fear. There was no pain, no regret, only anticipation. Everything is right. There's nothing wrong here. I didn't see a face. I didn't see any features other than this beautiful light. It can't be explained in human terms. How do you get there? I left my body. I know I did. And I was very aware of the fact that I had just died. And who gets to go? I just recognize the fact that God is with me. I was thrust through this white portal, and instantly I was standing in the presence of Almighty God. Heaven 
See real life stories of people who have been there in this new teaching from Pat Robertson. Available now. Heaven's going to be so amazing. No words can adequately describe how incredible it's going to be. And maybe you want to go there, but you're saying, you know, I'm not worthy. I've done too many bad things. There's no way I could get in. Well, here's the good news. Yes, you can. Jesus already paid the price for you. All you have to do is just repent. Just ask God to forgive you of your sins and ask him to be the Lord, your Lord and Savior. And the Bible promises that your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life and you'll be in heaven forever with God. It's that easy. Well, we want to encourage you with this new teaching called Heaven, What God Has Prepared for Those Who Love Him. This is our gift to you when you call right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. How much is that? Just 65 cents a day. That's right. You heard me. 65 cents a day is all it takes to become a CBM partner. That's $20 a month. If you're already a CBM partner, and many of you are, we just want to say thanks. You are making such a huge difference around the world. But as you know, I've been encouraging you this year to go up to our next level if you can. We've got our gold level and our thousand club level. That's $40 a month. And thousand club level is $84 a month and higher and many of you are doing that. I want to read some reports here. Elizabeth from St. Alb Albans, West Virginia. Hey, that's right down the road from where I grew up. Thank you so much, West Virginia. Uh, Elizabeth just went up to our gold level. Uh, Lorraine from Baltimore, Maryland. She is now a member at our gold level. Thank you so much, Lorraine. Jacqueline from the Bronx, New York. She just went up to our thousand club level. Thank you, Jacqueline. And also Richard from Warren, Michigan, also going up to our thousand club level and when you do that at the thousand club level you're going to get five of these that's right you're going to get one for you four to give away to friends and family if you go to our gold level you're going to get three we're in the middle of a hundred thousand dollar challenge with just uh, how many minutes left on the clock i don't know uh it's 21 minutes left on the clock 41 seconds that means every dollar that you pledge right now will be matched dollar for dollar so this is a great time to go to your phones gordon well, Russ and Carol were making minimum wage, and yet they still had money left over at the end of the week. They say it's because of a promise they made many years ago, and one they're still keeping to this day. Russ and Carol Haddock have been married for over 50 years, and they have a real passion for giving. They became CBN partners in the late 70s, and they've been giving ever since. The ministry that's closest to my heart with CBN is Operations Blessing. And that's because it has a large effect worldwide. They're out there bringing hope to people that maybe never heard of the gospel. And when they bring out people who bring fresh water to others, that is such a hope for them to turn to the Lord and begin to trust Him. Russ and Carol understand that giving is one of God's financial principles. As owners of a recruiting agency since 1980, they've used that principle to weather many financial storms, including three major recessions. But they stayed in business and didn't have to lay anyone off. It was because that we stayed obedient to the Lord through those times and continued giving that the Lord blessed us. Today, Russ and Carol are enjoying retirement. Over the years, one thing hasn't changed, their passion to give and their partnership with CBN. Giving is so wonderful. It, it not only the rewards you may get out of it from God, uh, it's the feeling you have of uh, helping. I've been consistent in giving to CBN because it has been a ministry that has not only sowed into my own heart, but I'm seeing CBN do that into other people's lives. Be a part of it. Be a part of everything we're doing around the world. Call us and join. 1-800-759-0700. I've got some great news. We've got some partners from Illinois, Michigan, and Wisconsin all joining together. They want to add $90,436 yes. to this. Take us up to $190,000. Lord, we ask for blessing, and we ask for blessing for the partners who made it possible, and we ask for blessing for those who are watching right now. Be with them, guard them, protect them, for we ask it in Jesus' name, amen. amen. You heard it, 190,000 is the challenge amount, 19 minutes, two seconds is the clock. What are we asking you to do? We're asking you to join the 700 Club, so call us, 1-800-759-0700. Terry? Well, at a time when they should be slowing down, Snow's grandparents had to work harder than ever. They had twice as many mouths to feed and no way to put food on the table. 
Grandma Dang and Grandpa Sun didn't think twice about taking in their grandkids. The children had been abandoned by their drug-addicted mother. Grandma and Grandpa were able to provide for them until they both lost their jobs. When we lost our jobs, we had nothing to eat. I went from farm to farm, hauling sacks of rice and feed. Sometimes my wife helps me to collect bamboo leaves in the jungle to sell. When I see my grandparents working so hard, I feel sorry for them. I know they want me and Ok to have a better life. Then the couple's motorcycle broke down, and even the small amount of money they earned dried up. So CBM's Orphan's Promise stepped in and repaired their motorcycle so they can transport vegetables and bamboo leaves to market. Then we gave them a cow and a calf to start a livestock business. They're expecting another calf any day. My life was falling apart. But when Orphan's Promise saw our needs, they valued us and supported us. What they have done for us goes beyond words. The whole family was so encouraged that they prayed to become Christians. I am so excited to know Jesus as my Savior and to worship Him. I never miss church and Bible study. Now I know that God cares for us. Thank you, Orphan's Promise, for helping my family. God cared for this little family through you, 700 Club Partners. You see, sometimes for a family to stay together, for children not to be taken out of their homes and put in orphanages, all people need is a little bit of a hand up. Not a hand out, but a hand up to help them become self-sufficient, support their families. That's what they want to do. You make it possible for us to do that, and we're doing it in the lives of thousands of people. Thank you so much. We're asking you to go to your phone right now and become a part of all of that. And when you do join the 700 Club today, at whatever level God speaks to you about, would you do it using Pledge Express? That's electronic monthly giving. It means your bank does all the work. It's really pretty wonderful. You don't have to have envelopes or stamps or remember to mail anything. It's all done for you. You can stop it when you like. But it does save us some administrative costs, and that means we can put even more of your gift into the lives of people like Snow and her family. So when you call, say, I want to join the 700 Club, and I'd like to do it using Pledge Express. Our way of saying thank you for using Pledge Express is to send you Power for Life teachings. These are teachings we receive here at CBN on a regular basis, and we'll share them with you monthly. We think they'll be a great blessing to you, and you'll be touching lives and sharing more with people because you're using Pledge Express. So thank you. Gordon? Well, Christianity is on the rise in China, and people like Tian Tian are big reasons why. She's boldly telling others about the gospel, thanks to a little help from Superbook. Tian Tian is a Christian at a school in China, where most students are atheists and Muslims. We are taught that there really is no God. But that has never stopped me from believing in the God of the universe and how He forgave our sins by His own blood. She desperately wants her classmates to know God too. I want my classmates to be blessed and saved, like I am. But sometimes when I share, they tell me I'm in a cult and that I am lying. One time a boy mocked my faith and I cried. For a month, Tian Tian stopped going to church and was afraid to share the gospel. Then she had a talk with her dad and remembered an episode of Superbook she'd seen that was translated into Mandarin for the children of China. Superbook taught me lots of principles about life, and that made me want to do things God's way and please Him. Plus, I found out that Chris and Joy are just like me. Tian Tian learned that she had to love her enemies so she started praying for the students who'd hurt her feelings. And when she found out there was going to be a Superbook party at church, she invited her classmates. They all came and found it very interesting. After Superbook was shown, Tian Tian's Sunday school teacher asked if there was anyone who wanted to know more about Jesus. And some of Tian Tian's classmates stood up. I had never been to church before, so this was the first time I heard about Jesus. I learned about how Jesus could change my life. Now I want to watch more Superbook. Having my classmates meet Jesus is like saving their lives. It makes me so happy. Superbook is fantastic. My wish is that more and more children in China will watch it and know the Lord Jesus, and that everyone around the world will accept God. 
Join with us. Join in everything we're doing around the world. If you want to see children in China get the stories of the Bible, join the 700 Club. We have so many doors of opportunity available to us. We just need the resources in order to walk through those doors. So be a part of it. Be a part of bringing the stories of the Bible to the children of the world. Be a part of blessing people around the world. Be a part of the 700 Club. Join with us, 1-800-759-0700. How much is it? It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Some of you can join at a higher level. We've got 700 Club Gold for you at $40 a month. A thousand club is $1,000 a year. That breaks out to $84 a month at whatever level. Call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Do you know what to expect when you get to heaven? The Bible says there will be rivers as clear as crystal and trees with the leaves that heal the nations. But that's not even the best part. Take a look. Heaven of new teaching from Pat Robertson. The Bible says God isn't loving. He says God is love. He is love itself. And that's how we know God, because he first loved us. And that love is experienced when people die. They come into a sense of love that human beings cannot even understand. It is overwhelming to them. Heaven, what God has prepared for those who love him. Available now. If you're a believer, then you have that peace and that assurance because Jesus says, I go to prepare a place for you. If you're not a believer in Jesus Christ and you want to have that assurance, all you have to do is say yes. Say yes to Jesus, invite him into your heart, and you'll have that peace that we as believers already have. It's, and it's such a wonderful thing to know where you're going to spend eternity because this life can be over like that. It's a drop in the bucket forever. That's a long time. None of us know how long, but we want to encourage your faith with heaven. What God has prepared for those who love him. Eyewitness accounts of life after death. Questions about heaven uh, that you need answered. This is our gift when you call right now and just say yes. I want to join the 700 Club is all you have to say. 1-800-759-0700 is the toll free number to call or you can log on to CBN.com. It's a great way to give as well. We're in the middle of a challenge. Let's take a look. $190,000 with 11 minutes left on the clock. That means if you give right now, every dollar that you pledge will be matched dollar for dollar. Now, if you're already a CBN partner, thank you. We can't do it without you, but I'd like to encourage you to go up to our gold level. Just $40 a month. When you do that, we're going to bless you with three of our DVDs, one for you two to give away if you can go a little bit higher. We have many levels here at CBN. If you go up to our 1,000 Club level, which is just $84 a month, that's $1,000 a year, we're going to give you five DVDs. So we need you to go to your phones right now. Terry. Little Rahul has a bright future in front of him, but not long ago, he was going blind, and his parents couldn't do anything to stop it. Raul's parents were concerned when they noticed he had problems with his right eye. We saw a white color patch in his eye when he was a baby. As he got older, the white patch grew bigger. He would always cover his eye because it hurt him so much. Sunlight also irritated it and made it difficult for him to walk outside. So we were scared that he wouldn't be able to see out of that eye. But then, a CBN medical camp visited their village. They told us that our son had a cataract. Then they said that they would give him a free surgery. At the hospital, the doctor explained that Raul was close to losing vision in his right eye permanently. He has central cataract. That means the surgery should be performed as soon as possible. <laughs> Raul's father was worried about the outcome of the surgery, but he knew it was the best chance to save his son's sight. The cataract was removed and a very good quality intraocular lens has been put. This is a world-class lens. The next day, the bandage was removed. Raul could see clearly. I'm extremely happy that my boy's operation went well and his eye is perfectly fine. Now he plays a lot outside without any discomfort and he really likes to read and write. He's so happy. It is such a remarkable change. I know that when he grows up, he will be able to study well, get a good job, and have a bright future. 
such a remarkable change, his mother said, and I think you can see clearly in that story, this happened at just the right time in Raul's life. He had not lost his sight completely. He's ready to go to school, and now he has the capacity to read and to learn well, and all of that because you were generous and compassionate enough to make a difference in his life. That's what 700 Club members do all around the world as well as here at home. They make a difference in people's lives, meeting them right at their point of need. It's what Jesus calls us to, and we want to invite you to be a part of that. You do it by calling our toll-free number, 1-800-759-0700. Just say, I want to join the 700 Club, and I'd like to do it using Pledge Express. If you do that, it helps us a little bit as well. And so there you go, electronic monthly giving. It means the bank does all the work for you, saves us some money, so even more of your gift can be put right into the lives of people like Raul and his family. So call now. We need to hear from you. Gordon? At one remote village in Honduras, water is scarce. What little can be found doesn't just look bad. It tastes bad as well and it even caused one child to collapse. When 11-year-old Fernando got thirsty, this was the only water he had to drink. I didn't like it because it was contaminated and it tasted really bad. Fernando and his mom climb a mountain every day to collect water from this stagnant pool. Miriam uses a cloth to filter the water, but knows it's not safe. As a result, the bacteria and parasites from the pond have been reproducing in Fernando's stomach. One morning, he developed such severe cramps that he fainted. I felt as if a knife went into my stomach. It felt like my heart would jump out of my chest and then everything went black. So Operation Blessing came to visit the community and offered to help. First, we located a better water source on top of the mountain. Then we built a tank and water purifier and brought the water to the whole community. It's so amazing to have water right here at my house. It's so cool and clean. I am not afraid to drink it anymore. We also gave Fernando and everyone else in the community a dose of anti-parasite medicine, which keeps the parasites away for six months. Thanks, Operation Blazing, for bringing the water to our house. Just imagine not having access to clean water. What you and I take for granted every single morning, that you know, you go to the tap, you turn it on, and clean drinking water comes out. Uh, whatever you need is abundance of, of water. Uh, that is not the case around the world. And just being a blessing to them to say, yes, we care enough to give. We care enough to take care of your needs. If you want to be a part of it, call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. Just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. We've got five minutes and 39 seconds left on a $190,000 challenge. Call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. Terry? Well, Rosa and her grandchildren lived in fear, and that's because they all lived in a house that was about to collapse. Grandma Rosa knew her house was in trouble. My house was dangerous. All the wood was rotten. Rosa is a widow, raising her two grandchildren in a floating house here along the Amazon River in Peru. One night, a bad thunderstorm hit, causing the house to collapse. After that, Rosa and her grandson, Alex, knew they would have to move. I remember we were sleeping. The house started to tremble. I was so scared. After the storm, there was no place to go. We first met Rose's grandchildren at a free Operation Blessing shoe giveaway at their school. When we heard about their house, within a short time, we built them a new one with solid walls and a roof and double floating logs that always keep them above water. We also gave them furniture and beds, the first they'd ever had. Every night, I had asked in my prayers for a new house. Now, we have one. And to help Grandma Rosa to provide for her grandchildren, we set up and stocked a small grocery store right in front of her new house. Now, she's making enough money to buy food and meet their other needs. I see the answer of God. I ask for a new house, my own business. Now I feel so grateful to see God's response. I am happy for my grandma. She gives us so much love and happiness. Thanks for the new house and store. 
Here's a grandmother who's loving her grandchildren, diligently taking care of them and wondering how in the world they're going to make it with their house falling down and no way to support them. You came right into the middle of that need. Can I tell you that house is the nicest one along that river? You just can't believe what people go through. But here's a grandmother alone with grandchildren. You made a difference in their lives and we say thank you. There are thousands of families waiting for help. Help us say yes to them too, won't you? Our number's toll free, 1-800-759-0700. And listen, when you call now, every dollar you give will be matched dollar for dollar. So let us hear from you, Gordon. Well, tonight, one in seven American families will go to bed hungry. And that's why Operation Blessing is working all over America to help struggling families put food on the table. Chris Price supports his wife and two children by working as an auto technician. My job to me is very important. I, I, I thank God every day that I have a job. But a recent cut in his hours has made it hard just to put food on the table. So the family is finding creative ways to stretch their budget. Chris walks two miles each way to and from work to save on gas. And they get food from Operation Blessing partner, Joseph Storehouse. If I didn't have the food, I probably would have missed water or electric this month just so I could buy the food for my family. Bob Evans is the founder of Joseph Storehouse. He says helping families is a team effort. I don't know what we do without Operation Blessing. They've been such a blessing to us to bring in a variety of food. We never know what we're going to get, kind of like Christmas every once a month. It put food in our kitchen for us, and my wife and my kids and me are very, very grateful for that. I'm glad to know that there's other people out there trying to help the people that are trying to do the best for their family. Be a part of it. Be a part of everything we're doing right here in America. We're feeding three million Americans every single month through the work of Operation Blessing. And our trucks are moving. We, we take uh, truckloads of food to these food banks, to churches involved in food ministries. Uh, we want to see people have an abundance uh, so that they, they have the ability to, to make it through life. If you want to be a part of that, call us, 1-800-759-0700. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? All right, thanks, Gordon. Well, studies show that roughly 75% of Americans believe in heaven, but that doesn't mean we all agree about what it's like. Take a look at this clip from Pat Robertson's latest DVD. What is heaven like? I imagine lots of clouds. Getting to do whatever you want. It's going to be perfect. In a giant library. I just think I'm going to be hanging out with all my family. Maybe a couple of my animals that died will be there. Everybody's going to get along. Everybody's going to be happy. The streets of gold and a lot of people dancing. I'm confident it's going to be better than what we have here. Heaven. See real life stories of people who've been there in this new teaching from Pat Robertson. Available now. I like the guy who says heaven's going to be perfect. I can't say it perfectly, but I agree with him. Gordon. All right. It's been a glorious day. We've got 28 seconds left on that challenge clock. $190,000 was the amount. We want to go way over the top. You can still be a part of it. Call us now. 1-800-759-0700. Don't forget the Internet. If, that, if the phones are busy, log on to CBN.com. You can give monthly there, and when you do, you automatically sign up for Pledge Express. Well, we're counting down to victory, but it's been a bit of a squeaker on this one. Uh, one second left. We had a $190,000 challenge, and against that, you gave. Yes. $190,000. We leave you today with these words from Acts 20. Remember the words of the Lord Jesus that he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. For Wendy, for Terry, for all of us here, God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. While Mary feeds her two young daughters, she also helps feed needy families around the world. While Bob hands a drink out to a co-worker, he helps give water to villages with new wells. And while Carl builds a house for his son's new puppy, he helps rebuild homes in disaster areas. 
These people all have something in common. They're CBN partners who have joined Pledge Express. I hope you'll consider joining Pledge Express too. It's a way to simplify your own life while speeding help to others, all at the same time. There are no checks to remember or stamps to buy, and your gift goes to work faster, helping those who need it most. So join us and change the world for someone today. I said, Father, I pray that you forgive me for my sins. You said you have many mansions in heaven, and I pray there's one for me. They didn't think I'd make it through the night. They thought I'd die of shock. I could feel just life leaking out of me. Code blue, we need the crash card in here. And I was very aware of the fact that I had just died. I wasn't afraid. It was like, I'm going home. Heaven, see real life stories of people who've been there in this new teaching from Pat Robertson, available